Hello and welcome to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and thank you for joining me for part two of the Camry engine swap. We're going to go ahead today and start by getting the engine pulled from the donor Camry and then we're going to do a little bit of maintenance on this engine. I'm not going to show you as much detail about pulling the engine as I did on the last one because you've already seen it. So I'll just go ahead and roll a time lapse and uh, then we'll go ahead and get right into doing some maintenance on it. Right, it is day two of preparing to pull the second engine from the donor car. Uh, now we learned a few things from pulling the first engine out of the uh, keeper car. And um, one of the things we learned primarily was that the things that are on the top end of the engine are much easier to do and the things on the bottom are much harder. So um, in our first day of work, which is just a few hours, we went ahead and took care of all the hard stuff down on the bottom got the axles out and the exhaust and all of that sort of stuff. And now, today, Doug will be here in a little while, and we're gonna get started uh, finishing up with disconnecting everything and preparing to pull this engine as well. So hopefully here in just a short while, we'll have the second engine pulled, then it's time to do some maintenance on this engine before preparing to put it in the car.
Alrighty, well, the donor motor has been pulled from the donor car. The old motor has been dropped into the donor car. And I also went ahead and pulled a few parts off of the old motor that I knew were still good, just in case we should need them in the future. Uh, so the next step is to go ahead and do some maintenance. I'm gonna be able to get those parts uh, tomorrow. So the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and do some maintenance on the engine before it goes in the car. The first thing we'll do is the timing belt service, timing belt, uh, pulleys, tensioners, water pump, etc. We'll do all of that while the engine's out of the car. It makes it a whole lot easier to reach. And then uh, after that, we can probably go ahead and put the motor back in and all of the other maintenance things we're doing as far as replacement hoses and all of that uh, will be put on as we put the engine in. I'll also probably go ahead and clean this engine up just a little bit before it goes in the car. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut it off here for tonight and uh, here in just a second, you'll see us get started on the maintenance. Catch you right now. I'm back at the shop and the timing job on the engine is done. Now I apologize I didn't have a whole lot to show you there. My camera battery died. It was super cold so a lot of the batteries were low or dead. So unfortunately I didn't get a ton of footage from that. But anyway I'm back now and the last thing I want to do before uh, we're ready to drop this engine in is get the engine bay kind of cleaned up. Uh, the original engine from this car was a greasy mess which is no doubt from the massive oil leaks it had, which probably contributed to why that engine was bad. But in any case, I wanna get the engine bay cleaned up. It'll never be easier to clean than it is right now. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and get started on. Now, before I um, soap it up, uh, put the greaser on it, use the pressure washer on it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put bags over some of the lines and stuff that are open and exposed now so I don't get water inside them. Um, don't have to worry about anything electrical because there is no power to this car right now. So I'm not worried about anything like that. I just don't want water getting inside uh, AC lines and other things like that that it has no business being in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put bags with uh, rubber bands on them uh, to protect that stuff. Then I'm gonna push the car outside and uh, get to cleaning on this engine bay. So let's go ahead and get started. engine bay's all cleaned out. It's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than it was. So I'm gonna let it stay out here and drip dry for a little while before I put it back in the shop. So that's gonna actually end it for this episode. In the next episode for the Camry engine swap, we will actually be putting the engine into the car. So um, wish us luck on that. We're gonna be getting started on that here in the next couple of days. Engine goes in, then we start hooking everything back up, do a little more maintenance on it, and then we pray that the engine works when it's all said and done. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. I appreciate your support. If you're not already a subscriber, why don't you go ahead and take the time to subscribe now, and then you can click that little bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new episode. Go ahead and like this video if you would, and drop a comment down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, where I post photos and videos of what I'm working on, the current projects, looking at new cars, so you can stay up to date on what I'm working on, even when there's not a new video to watch here on YouTube. Also, I wanted to let 
let you know that I've put links in the description to a lot of the products that I've used in this video and some of my others as well. You can click on those links. It'll take you to Amazon where you can find uh, those same products and purchase them for yourself. They are affiliate links, so I do get a few cents if you choose to buy something through my links. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.